YouTube, what is up guys? Today I got the new BB Firefly from BB Barfly. This is their newest, most premium valley. It is absolutely incredible in every way. So let's quit talking about it. Let's go unbox it so you can see a first-hand close-up of how this baby looks and how it plays. All right, so here we got how it comes packaged. I took a lighter and burnt my address off just because I couldn't find my Sharpie. Uh, just, you know, for security reasons. Um, but very excited. Surge over at BB Barfly is like the coolest dude ever. And I've had a good relationship with BB Barfly um, since I reviewed their original model. And since then, I've pretty much reviewed everything. I have all their different valleys here except the original uh, Pro. I gave that one to my little brother. And uh, he uses it all the time. So it's still in the family. I just uh, don't currently have it with me. So as you can see, this comes packaged really nice. He also threw in a couple... BB Barfly little keychain bottle openers. Oh, very, very cool. Once again, this is the BB Firefly, their newest model. It just dropped. And this is probably their most, um, like, most premium, I would say. Also, the packaging is very nice in here. BBBarfly.com. Catch the buzz. Okay, we get our little BB Barfly sticker, as well as our uh, business card. And then in here, oh, we got a nice pouch with this one. Oh, very nice felt pouch or microfiber. I don't know, whatever you want to call that. Mm, okay, in my hand. Uh, oh, still uh, fresh out of the box. Needs to be broken in a little bit. <laughs> but definitely feels really, really nice. So it is 6061 aluminum. I believe it's heat treated steel um, with the bottle opener. And actually, this, so this is the same bottle opener as like the Pro um, V2, but a little more re, uh, like refined, I guess you would say. Now, my the only thing I really kind of would, the way these weren't always like. The one thing I think they lacked in was they didn't have enough grip. Um, right here, they can get, you know, they can fly out of your hands if you get going too fast and stuff. And here, with these hole patterns, um, they really, you know, fixed that. And now we are getting quite a bit of grip on here. They went back to the tank pins. On the Pro V2, they had Zen pins. We're going back to the tank pin design. Um, the tolerances are zero, um, basically nothing. Um, Oh yeah, definitely going to have to change the camera angle and give this thing a couple good flips. But first, before we flip it, let me grab a couple bottles and uh, see how the bottle opener works. Alright, we got a Tapo Chico. And the nice thing about this is you can either come at it this way or this way. So you can just go right under it like that, bada bing, bada boom. Or you can hit it from this way. So you can open it to, you know, really however you grab the, um, the bottle, you can always easily open it. So this is actually really nice. For somebody, um, you know, that's like a bartender or, you know, just somebody that likes opening a lot of glass bottled waters or beers or whatever, you know what I mean? Really, really nice. Super easy to use. You don't really got to find the groove. You just kind of shove it on there and bada bing, bada boom. It opens right up. Um, there's the balance point. We're going to put all the specs on the screen right there. And I'm going to down this water and let's get to flipping. All right, guys, we got the BB Firefly here. All ready to rock and ready to roll. Now, after playing with this a couple minutes, this thing feels incredible. It kind of, the lube kind of broke itself free. I think just in the shipping process, the lube on there kind of solidified a little bit. Now it is perfect and there's zero handle play, zero tap, zero rattle, all positive, <laughs> no negative really. Um, now going off this thing, things I like the best is I really like the bead blast finish on the anodized aluminum. It just feels really premium, really nice, and it gives a good amount of grip it compensates the whole patterns really nice. Uh, on the bottom, we got this this line right here. And when you're getting down towards the bottom of the handles, doing stuff like that, it feels really, really nice. Um, but then when you're doing um, like twirling, stuff like that at the top, you're really getting a really nice grip with that whole pattern there. I think that was definitely the biggest negative of the last BB Barflies is they all lacked the grip a little bit. They all performed great. They were made of great tolerances and everything. but they, they lacked the grip. This one does not feel like it's gonna come flinging out of hand. This one feels like a high-end, high-quality uh, belly. At the $155 price range, this is really, really freaking good. 
Yeah, and like everything just feels really nice. The weight is like right balanced exactly where I would want it. The size of it feels perfect. The width of the handles, you know, they're not too wide, not too skinny. They just feel really nice. They got the slightest amount of roundedness. Um, I think, yeah, each iteration of the BBR flight, they've gotten drastically better. I think everything about this, um, from the materials to just the, the function of it, the feel, the sound even, like, like it just sounds beautiful, to be honest. It sounds absolutely great. Yeah, if you want a trainer, this is probably the best trainer on the market under $200. Maybe even in the, in the above 200. I'm trying to think of what's like a trainer that's, I don't know, this is really in the price range, this is knocking it the hell out of the park. And it comes in quite a few different colors. You can get like a blue one, a red one, a gray one. They got all, all, quite a few different colors. All the old models of the BB Barflies are also still available. And they all come, you know, those some of those you can customize like absolutely crazy. Like you saw, I have the nunchuck ones. You can do like custom ones, or they have like pages of stuff you can uh, pick from. And when you get something like this, you're getting, you know, a Canadian made product. You're not repping, you know, it's, it's not coming from overseas or made in this giant factory. You know, it's like, you know, you're repping a, you know, a smaller North American company, uh, you know, where you're, you know, your money is going towards something good, some high quality stuff here. And the bushings are all hand tuned and they're using larger bushings than they used in their previous models. Also too, they switched from bronze washers to steel washers so they would last longer. And yeah, everything about this just feels absolutely incredible. I'm absolutely loving this thing. Um, there's no tricks that feel like awkward on here. Everything feels perfect. This is literally one of the nicest valleys I've flipped in a long time. And the fact that it was only $155 uh, really knocks it out of the park. So this just came out. So again, the BB Firefly. And uh, if it is a little bit out of your price range, they do have their other models, which are also awesome. So maybe. You know, if you can't afford this, get one of those, save up a little bit, but you're definitely not going to want to miss this. Eventually, this is going to be your end goal. You want one of these. Um, I tend to use mostly live blades. So when I do have a trainer or something, it's nice for it to be like a bottle opener or, you know, or something. It's just like, uh, you know, just something, something cool. I don't like, I'm not the biggest fan of trainers that like their blades kind of serve no purpose here. You know, everybody needs a bottle opener. I'm always cracking beers. I'm always opening bottle water. Or, uh, uh, glass bottled waters and everything. Um, yeah, and everything feels so nice. The this the bee blast finish, it feels so aesthetically pleasing in your hands. Uh, I couldn't be happier with this. Um, great, great company. Um, the tang pin design, these feel like these, the, well, first off, all of my BB bar flyers, all of them have had tons of drops, tons of play, tons of love, and I've never had a problem with any of like a screw breaking or a tank been falling out. I've never, I never deal with anything like that with from BB Barfly. Here, you only have two screws to worry about, which is really nice because the, um, with the tank pin design, also being channel construction, there's no, no other. There's only two screws you need to worry about them ever coming loose. And this tank pin, I mean, it literally looks like it could take an explosion and be totally fine. Even just the blade, I like the way the finish is on the blade. Um, it's got this like brushed looking finish uh, but yeah everything about this I uh, you really can't go wrong this is without a doubt 10 out of 10 this is the best trainer I've played with in a really really long time um, for the money you can't go wrong and it's always good repping a company that you know has been in the community for a long time they're always you know trying to improve on their products and they seem like they actually care about the balisong flipper the consumer and they care about you know um, what do you call it the community you know the balisong community um, because they continue to try to see what people want to see changed and they drive on that. They're not just making the same thing every time. Um, really, really cool. Uh, I can't go wrong. Yeah, I love everything about it from the weight, the look, the feel, the sound. I uh, can't go wrong. The link will be down below. It's not an affiliate link. Uh, it's just, you know, a regular old link. If you want to get this, get it. I couldn't recommend this enough. I love how it's squared but still has slightly rounded. It just feels, everything feels so nice. Um, but yeah, don't take my word for it. Pick yourself up one and uh, you will not be disappointed. I can guarantee that. So I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching.